From your forehead all the way to the nape of your neck, to the tips of your hair, again and again. Using the fingertips in a circular motion on the scalp, stimulating hair follicles, starting from the hairline 
on the forehead. Down to the ears and the bottom of the neck. stimulates the hair follicles and has been known to induce an ASMR sensation. Before we begin the facial massage, I'll just hold your head in my hands for a few moments. It's a really relaxing cold. start with the edge of my hands cutting from the forehead smoothing out the forehead in either direction down the cheeks to the chin and back again down the forehead to the chin using my wrists as well the lotion I'm using is lightly scented with rose water this smells very sweet not an overpowering scent. Perfect for a facial massage. Again, I shall use different scents for different parts of your body. Okay. Now, using the tips of my fingers, I shall smooth out your forehead in the same direction, but in circular motions, using my nails as well, down the forehead, and then across the nose, and around using the fingertips but using a little more pressure I shall smooth out the eyebrows and then circle around the eye moving back up the nose to the eyebrows you can really smell the incense stick now. This will help you relax even more. Okay, now again, I'll just lay my hands over your face for a moment. I'm sending you some positive white light through my thumbs on your third eye in the center of your forehead right down to my fingertips on your chin
and the ears. Again, holding the earlobes in between the thumb and index finger and just gently squeezing them. It feels very good, doesn't it? There are a lot of nerve endings in the ears. Even just moving your index finger up the ears and around the lobes very gently feels good move on to the neck. Again, I will hold your head in my hand while using my right hand just to move my fingers up and down your spine, reaching right under the shoulder blades and up towards the top of the shoulder. Using slight pressure will help release the knots in your shoulders, in the muscles. This always works for me. Now, now we've done underneath the shoulders. You should move to do the top of the shoulders as well. So with using the flat of my hand in a circular sensation across the breastbone, over the shoulders, using my thumb to reach under the shoulders, on the shoulder blade. Moving my hand gently down your arm to the elbow and then moving my hand under your arm to come back up again. First, gently with a light touch. Then as the pressure builds, you will become more relaxed. I think I will change the oil now to something a little more relaxing. Lemon is an excellent scent for combating stress. Even studies in Japan have found it interferes with the neurotransmitters to your brain, aiding in relaxation. So, organic of course. Lemon is probably my favourite scent. Again with the shoulders reaching right underneath, under your armpits, then over the top of your shoulders and up your neck to your hair and back again. Okay. 
later in the session, I will ask you to flip over and then we will start the proper back massage. It will help with any back pain you may be experiencing. Okay, now I'll move to the arms. I'll take your hand in my hand and then using my left hand I shall use long, gentle strokes from the wrist right up to the shoulders then moving underneath Again and again. Now, if I use my right hand and my left hand just to lift up your arm slightly. gently shaking it. This will stimulate the muscles in your arm. Feels good. Now for a simple hand massage, I'll start with palm up and again using my ring finger I'll just move it around your palm in circular motion. Moving to the nail, which again creates a wonderful feeling. Moving up each finger, the little finger, the ring finger, the middle finger. finger and the thumb and then again with the other side of your hand moving up with the structure of the hand across the knuckles and up to the nail down the inside of your finger And then gently, again using my thumb and forefinger, I gently squeeze your fingertips between on the nail. These pressure points will also stimulate your nerves. Okay, we'll move over to the other side now, and I'll do exactly the same. Taking your left hand in my hand, and using long strokes up and down your body, to the shoulder, and then underneath your hand. Moving back down. (sighs) 
using my fingertips to make waves in your skin. And then one last gentle hold of the hand to again channel some positive white light through your body. move on to a leg massage, an upper thigh leg massage, followed by a nice calf massage. Okay, so I'll start by applying some more oil to my hands, so this creates less friction and feels better on the skin. start near the top of the thigh and just one big stroke down the leg over the knee over the calf and the shin and down to the foot under the foot and under the calf under the leg and up again to the thigh. Just long, big strokes. And now, instead of using the flat of my palm, I use my fingertips too and my nails in a gentle scratching sensation. The combined feelings of the flat palm, the fingertips and the nails create a very nice sensation on the leg. So we'll start with circular motions again. On the upper thigh, focusing on the area above the knee. Round and round and round. And then I'll move down over the knee towards the calf. Gently adding a bit of pressure with my thumbs and fingertips. Gently working my way down to the foot. Do the same with the other leg, using the flat of my palm and my forearm, just to add a bit of pressure to the area, moving up and down. Now, 
I'm going to use one hand on either leg and do a simultaneous strokes up and down each leg at the same time. Up, long, with a little bit of pressure on. to the feet. The feet in reflexology are major points of pressure and release. After all, your feet support the whole weight of your body, so they need extra special attention. Now, in reflexology, the foot Uh, certain areas of the foot um, complement each area of the body. So the big toe is usually associated with the head. So if you have a headache, it'd be good to work with the with the toe. And the ridge of the foot has to do with the spine and usually the balls of your foot or the area underneath your toes is the abdomen. So I'll start just by just by taking your foot in both my hands and holding it with slight pressure. Now, placing my fingers on the top of your foot and using my thumbs on the bottom of your foot, I can now work. So, so I'll use my thumbs to work on the instep of the foot to start with. up and down with slight pressure <coughs> moving gently to the top of the foot moving ground under the toe Because the bottom of the foot is very hard and callousy, there's no point in using the fingernails. There aren't a lot of nerve endings in the foot, but there are in the toes, so I take each one of your toes and just squeeze them between my thumb and middle finger to stimulate some acupressure points. Your big toe. And your middle toe. Your third toe. Your fourth toe. And your little toe. And again, I'll just do some long pressured strokes to the bottom of your foot. On the instep, working my way around the contours of your foot. From 
the heel round the ridge up to the toes and then back down the outer edge so while I'm doing this foot with my right hand I'll now take your left foot in my left hand and I will do the same both feet simultaneously up around the ridge across the toes down the outside and over the heel and again use my the flat of my fingers just to move up the ankle as well and then under the heel scent sticks are working. Ylang Ylang and Lavender are both, are both equally as relaxing with equally good benefits. So, I'm going to ask you now to flip over to your back so I can work more on the backs of your legs and your back. Thank you. Okay. Now, I'll just move the towel to your hips and your pelvis so I can work on the back. So I'll start slightly differently by using the bottom of my wrists to go up both sides of the spine with both wrists and then using the flat of my hand to move over the shoulders and back down the ribcage at the side. spine with both thumbs and over the shoulders and down the arms I'm going to use my knuckles just to add a bit of pressure to the shoulder area. shoulders, down the arms, back up to the 
the shoulders and up the neck and then just bringing my four fingers all the way down the spine from the nape of the neck all the way down to the pelvis going to try and do a chopstick type motion. This is different but it feels very good. Very gently now. I can't abide by rough massages. So using the side of my hand where my little finger is, I'll just gently alternate tapping your back. Going up each side of the spine. This is where all our emotional baggage and physical stress lies. So this will help ease any back pain that you have. And again, one last time with the thumbs, starting from the bottom this time, all the way up the spine to the neck, but this time once we get to the neck, I'll use my nails to make wave motions down the back on either side of the spine. How does that sound? Feels good. Okay. Now, we'll move on to the backs of the legs. I'm going to start with more gentle long strokes with the flat of my palm. From the buttocks area. With a bit of pressure right down to the ankle and then using my fingertips on each side of your leg gently squeezing all the way back up again I'll use both hands simultaneously on either use my nails again with the waving motion. It feels very good, doesn't it? Can you feel the tingles flowing from your head all the way down to your toes? And now finish off we'll have a chopstick motion using the flat of my hand again with my the side of my hand so gentle tapping on the leg And now for the other leg. Up from the ankle to the thigh. And 
and back down. So I'll finish off with a countdown.